What's the shittiest way a friend has shown you they weren't really your friend? She invited me over to hang out, 35 minutes in she was like, I will be right back, gets in the car with her boyfriend and leaves me at her house with her kid siblings. Dot she fucking tricked me into babysitting. Edit. Wow I woke up to so many upvotes and awards, thanks redditors. Dot. I do want to say, I was 16 at the time, I was really nice and naive. The kids I unknowingly babysat were really good kids and their nice mother was at work, they don't deserve to go through CPS because their sister was an ass. I eventually told off the friend after graduation, I didn't realize until more situations like this that she was just using me. I just wanted friends. A friend was moving internationally, he offered me a fridge and washing machine for about half price. I was in uni, but desperately needed it. I told him I had like $20 p.w to work with and he was cool with it. We agree to $15 per week for a year. Six weeks later his girlfriend comes around to tell me he wants to take me to court to get the rest in one payment. I get served and go to court and present the original agreement. His girlfriend says he needs the money urgently and the judge says that don't mean shit. He then calls my dad and says I stole his shit. Dad calls me and I lay it all out. Dad ends up paying him the remainder just to get him to go away. And hash x200b. Fuck you with a pineapple Toby, you cunt. My 16th birthday I invited my friends over for a party including dinner. I spent all day cooking with my dad and made beautiful chocolate mousse cups in chocolate bowls, one went all out and I was so proud of the meal. I told everyone that dinner was at 6.30. Nobody showed up until 8.30. They were completely stoned and had a bag of toys from Dollar Tree. I had already cleaned up and put away all the food. They had all been hanging out without me on my birthday and I was still an afterthought. Invited me to her wedding as a gesture of reconciliation and then uninvited me when I RSV'd, or in other words, responded to her invitation. Also, another friend took me out to lunch and let me cry to her after I broke up with my ex. She said she had to go to her mom's for a while and she'd be back that evening with treats and a red box. She ended up hooking up with my ex. Lied about me at our government job where I was investigated by the AG and ultimately caused me to leave a job and a boss I loved. She quit when we found out it was her who lied as she knew my boss would can her ass. Oh and I'm the one who got her hired. My best friend since middle school got me knocked unconscious after starting a confrontation with a large group of guys. Proceeded to tell everyone we worked with that I had started it. Few weeks later I had returned from a holiday to my home country and he had moved one of his friends into my room at the place we were renting. Never talked to him again. Promised to invite me to a group outing, only to text me one day out of the blue that they already left and, oh well, from mutual friends who went on the outing, they told me that this friend never told him that I was invited. In 8th grade, after I switched schools, a friend of mine called me one night and told me a kid I wanted to be friends with killed himself. Three months later I visit their graduation ceremony and find out he lied to me and that the kid was still alive. She started fucking my husband while I was pregnant. Edited because this blew up. Yes, I divorced him, and haven't spoken to her since I found out. The experience was a catalyst for a metric fuckton of personal growth, and I'm now living a fuller and more authentic life without them in it. Ama Fatty, Yal. Had one friend that bought a bunch of tickets for a midnight movie premiere for myself and our entire friends group, about 15 of us. Day of the show, he texts me and says he forgot to buy a ticket for me. I ask, what do you mean you forgot to buy, my, ticket? Of the 15 you bought, how is it my ticket that you decided wasn't purchased? Turns out, he did buy a ticket for me included in the 15 he bought, but he just met a girl the week prior, and decided to give my ticket to her. So our entire friends group went to the movie, minus me. There's other things he did to me as well. We're no longer friends. Edit. For people inquiring on what movie it was, it was Jurassic World. Friend found out I had cancer. She took me out to eat. She then took me to her MLM presentation. Going over to their house to hang out and finding around 10 of my missing Xbox games in a loose stack of discs in his living room. Arriving late to a friend's birthday party a few years ago, the birthday boy introduced me as the guy the first was telling you all about. Cool dude but I wouldn't trust him with my wallet. He was drunk and it wasn't a joke. I had a girlfriend break up with me and tell me how my roommate would send her dick pics, call her on weekends, drunk dial her etc to try to get her to fuck. And hash x200b. These are the ones that come to mind right now. 20 plus years of a solid friendship gone because his wife and mine don't get along.
This is currently happening. I had a stroke in 2020. I'm young, 31, and then found out that my kidneys were failing shortly after. I know it's a pandemic, but not one of my friends have even texted me to check on me, or ask my husband who they're all also friends with. Literally everyone cut me off when I got sick. Can't drink, not friends anymore. Mid 2000s he tried to paint me as a porno king in high school just to get a girl not to like me cause he had a crush on her. Backfired they immediately came up to me asked me about it and I said I only had one playboy mag. My ex got with two of my friends after a pretty bad breakup to the point where it just seemed like she was trying to hurt me and my so-called friends were willing to do the same to get some action. So I was in the car with a third friend on Thanksgiving Eve telling him how much this was affecting me to which he replied, that's so shitty man I'd never do that to you. Well that Christmas the very next month another friend shows me a picture of that friend and my ex together on Instagram. They started dating shortly after that. I opened up to my ex-friend about being depressed and suicidal. He called me a pussy for thinking about suicide and that I have nothing to be depressed about. He stopped talking to me after that semester was over. Ignored me when I asked for a small favor from him even though I helped them so many times. Made us come to her seminar thing for some pyramid scheme thing. I just know it is. I thought we were going to hang out and she told me that she was going to bring us out and eat. She just abandoned us right after that shit. I drive six hours, one way, twice in the span of a year to visit this fucker because I thought we were friends and he acted like we were. It cost me $300 each time to visit him but he was alone in his new city. He moved away for his first job post uni and kept MSGing me saying I should come visit blah blah blah. Later I find out this guy has came back to my town multiple times and didn't hit me up once, and he stayed for months at a time. Then I tell him about this and he says okay he'll visit next time he's back in town. So then next time comes around and he stops by literally right before he's about to drive home, to say hi for five minutes. Like dude you don't want to see me why are you just going through all this bullshit and making me waste my money. They tried to drown me. 1. Wouldn't stop judging me for the dumbest things. Two wouldn't stop cussing me out for no reason. 3. Said I was academically dumb. They always came to me for help though. 4. Said I wasn't street smart. I can kinda agree with it. 5. Told me my hobby, activity I do, band, will get me nowhere in life, I never said I wanted to do it as a job. Luckily I blocked them out of my life and don't deal with them anymore. Long time ago, but my 10th birthday party. The first time I'd actually tried to have a big group, it was around 30 kids at a park with a tee ball set up, normal picnic stuff, the like. My best friend at the time said he had a surprise for me in one of the fenced walkways leading to the park, where he sucker punched me and his other friend and he took turns jumping on and kicking me. After a few minutes another kid from the party saw, ran him off, and took me back to my ma away from the other kid so I didn't have to be too embarrassed. My best friend, best man at my wedding fucked my married sister on my wedding night. Turns out a full open bar was a bad idea. When I was 14-16 I lived in a granny flat at the back of my mum's house. I had a big group of friends who would stay every weekend. We'd have drinks, movie nights, just hang out really. We were like a family and were all really close. Then mum put our house on the market and I lost contact with every single one of them. I think that's still the most used I've ever felt. Probably because the friendships meant so much to me and I feel like they faked the whole thing for a place to stay. I sent my friend who was supposed to be in my wedding a text message telling her that my, now, husband and I had decided to elope before he deployed to Afghanistan because we wanted to be married just in case he didn't make it home, but that we would still be having the big wedding when he came home and I was so excited for her to be a part of that. She never responded and hasn't spoken to me since. My husband and I just celebrated our third anniversary wasn't laughing with me but at me and always pressured me into doing things I didn't want to do. They started hanging out with the people that let my sister overdose. Screamed at me, over nothing, in a drunken rage and never talked to me again. I offered to pay everything and even pay her for her time off work for my best friend to come to my wedding but she didn't. It was a really small backyard wedding and I didn't have any bridesmaids nor did I want anyone to spend money getting dresses blah blah blah. I just wanted her to come. The excuse she gave was work and so I understood but then later found out she lied and had planned a trip with her other friends. I still don't know why she didn't want to come. We were friends for over 10 years and although it wasn't the first time she had really hurt me, it was the last. 
Years ago, almost all of my friends abandoned me when I was suicidal and had to go into hospital for a few weeks. It made my depression so much worse to know that sharing how I felt just scared people away. Luckily I spent a lot of time in therapy and made a huge effort to put myself out there in my local music scene and now I have a completely new, much larger and more genuine circle of friends. Just telling me to go away all the time with no reason behind it. My best friend got with my first husband while I was pregnant, helped destroy our marriage, supported him so he could quit his job and avoid paying child support, joined him in abusing my kids while they were with him, and then tried to cry on my shoulder when he ended up screwing her over when they split after 14 years of jointly making my life a living hell. They all bailed on my college graduation and graduation party, and then accidentally included me on an email thread about all of them coming up with different excuses for missing my big day. It made me feel incredibly alone and I had no idea that they viewed me in such a negative light. As an adult I realized they were jealous. Dot but back then, just assumed I had a major character flaw and started isolating myself from people. Hooked up with my ex-husband behind my back, then had the audacity to bring him to the hospital to see my dad when I was there visiting with my new husband and small children. My husband and ex had never met before, not since, either. It was awkward. I stopped talking to her after that day. We were friends for 25 years. I hate the type of person you are, that one fucking hurt. Good friend tried to gaslight me into thinking I was crazy when I confronted him about lying. Fucking narcissistic prick. Fucked my boyfriend, gave him an STD which he then gave to me. The only regret I have from my wedding was my choice of bridesmaids. My little sister was my MOH and she tried to include them in the planning process but they overrode and tried to run rampant over her decisions which she was constantly checking with me. Looking back I should have chosen different people who didn't make my sister and me cry from stress. I should have chosen my two best guy friends and my brother instead. When another friend, A, basically ghosted me and this friend, B, for a year or two. He came into contact with him again and they became best buds, which I didn't much care for but found quite odd. What's weird was that, B, had been claiming I wouldn't be willing to reconcile with, A. Found it all very strange to make such claims, and for these dudes to act in such a petty manner without even asking or confronting me but luckily I have much more genuine friends. They're trying to gaslight me because I'm thinking of selling the place I'm letting them stay at and not using the money to buy them a new place to live. Also they're pretty messy and saw that they caused enough damage that it'll take a while after they move out to go to market. The latter part is not because of the move itself but just a really shitty thing for them to do. Edit. They knew I've been thinking about selling it since last year. This year was the final nail in the coffin with the property management team, whom they despise as well. I know as hard it is to find places with COVID going on, I didn't spring this on him at the last minute. Ghosted me after eight years of friendship. He was my best friend. It took therapy to move past it. I still miss him. Getting like three inches from my face and yelling about how our mutual friend was asking to be assaulted by their significant other. He literally did the chest poking thing. In public. Vehemently and loudly defend domestic abuse. No thanks to that. They had a cocked out orgy on my bed. Then they tried to make it seem like I was the one that betrayed them. Had a friend that was super close to the point we discussed moving in, until she did with some college friends then she went back to being too busy with school to ever talk until one day I stopped trying. Happened every couple of years the time we stopped talking before this I did an experiment to see when she'd message me first. Two years boyo. Ghosted me after 20 plus years of friendship. He was my best friend for as long as I can remember but at some point he just stopped saying yes when I suggested getting together. We could have a conversation about anything but the second I brought up doing something it was radio silence. He finally agreed to something then blew me off like an hour beforehand. No rain check or suggestion we try again. I was depressed for days but that was the day I gave up. He was the best man at my wedding. I loved him like a brother and still hope he's doing well and happy. But the rejection hurts so much that I just don't try anymore. I've mourned the death of our relationship and am done with it. And I still don't know why. Kissed me in front of the whole school while one of his other friends filmed it and later put it on YT. My mom found out and actually got his mom to make him take the video down and delete it off all his devices. My best friend and I were roommates after college. She left me alone on the day my dad died because she wanted to go on a date with someone she met on Bumble and then told me, oh don't make me feel bad. When I asked her if she was seriously leaving me to go on a date. 
Friend introduced me to her friend and said we should form a friend group. The friend she introduced me to told me he ended up catching feelings for me. We started dating. Friend gets upset and ignores me for a while. Senior trip comes up and she's a no-show. She tells me she wasn't feeling good. Another friend comes out and says this friend told him that she didn't go because Empress was there. Afterwards, I hear from my boyfriend, at the time, that she came on to him and said she wanted him to be a part of her harem. What the actual fuck? Not telling me people were saying shit behind my back and being nice to my face and he just said nothing.